do it for. So you've heard of No Shave November, but what about No Mo May? Not like No More, but No Mo. Meteorologist KJ Jacobs explaining the movement and its impact on bees. With more than 500 species of bees in the state of North Carolina alone, a spin on the No Mo movement is creating some buzz. The idea behind no mowing in the month of May is to provide flowers for bees, butterflies, and moths. City Arborist Lloyd Reed says a bee-friendly habitat is significant for everyone. About one out of every three bites of food we eat is pollinated by an insect. So we need to keep our population of insects around so we can have all the good foods we like, like watermelons and apples and almonds. While some people prefer a well-manicured lawn for curb appeal, Ree says there are some other ways you can support the population of spring pollinators. If you can concentrate the low mow in the backyard and let those different flowering plants come up, that's a great thing. Keep maintaining your front yard to the standard that you're looking for. Maybe your HOA requires it, but then you have an opportunity to have a natural area in your backyard. And before you chop down the idea altogether, the Department of Agriculture has a lazy lawnmower initiative where research states mowing less affects the abundance and diversity of bees. Well, I like the term low mow. So what that would be is to low, mow your grass every two, maybe three weeks instead of going the whole entire month, but continue that throughout the spring and the entire summer because all those insects, they need nectar. In the city of Charlotte, your grass can grow up to 12 inches before facing any possible fines. In Charlotte, KJ Jacobs, WCNC Charlotte.